Hey guys, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. I've been a little bit uh, MIA for the past week, and that's because I've been training. Um, took some training with a group called Tactical Intelligence Group, TIG, in Cincinnati. And uh, if you're in the area of uh, Cincinnati Tri-State, um, I really do suggest that you go out and uh, visit their website. The link will be at the bottom. Uh, awesome group of people, uh, excellent training. Um, in particular, the course that I took was Knife Combatives. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a teaser of what they taught me, what, what I got out uh, most from it. And in this Knife Combatives course, it was actually uh, the placement of where your knife is. And so, originally, I had my, my knife passively on my body on, on a lanyard uh, over my neck. And um, it was always in the back of my mind that uh, if I ever needed to use my knife in self-defense, well, i just yank it off the lanyard um, and it would be there. Um, but they brought up some good points. Uh, your firearm, you know, it's always in one position. You practice and, um, it, you know, you want to make repetitive movements, um, so it's always there. However, if I got this guy on a lanyard, my knife's right here, if I get knocked to the ground or or there's a tussle and, and I'm rolling around, my knife is going to be swinging all around my torso, the handle is going to be pivoting, and so when I try to grab that knife for a secure and familiar hold, I'm not going to be able to do that. So again, I passively was thinking about using my knife for self-defense, but really it was just a tool, just something that was concealed and, and nice close to my body. But I have a better option now. Now that I took the class, still concealed. However, I have it in a cross draw format. And uh, I'll go in a little bit more detail into this knife and the actual clip that I have. It's a tech lock clip. Um, but this cross draw is concealed, as you can see. But in addition to that, I can pull with my right hand. And I have this grip. However, if I'm on my right side and my arm is pinned, or let's just say my right arm got stabbed or shot or, or whatnot and I cannot use it, well, I can still pull with my left hand. And so you still need to practice holding it this way versus this way and one way with each hand. Um, but again, I, I still have both my hands um, able to access the knife. Um, it's in my workspace, so um, I'm always gonna be able to get to it as opposed to some people that either have a, um, a foldable knife that's in their pocket, which they have to grab, pull out, um, extend the knife, and, and hopefully you don't drop it. So, you know, this full tang knife is just a lot more easier and faster to deploy. But then also, if you think about pocket carry, you know, if you landed on your side, um, we were practicing and just um, one of the one of the trainers just with his hand going like that while you're trying to deploy your knife, you're you're fumbling it all around. So again, this was one of many options they showed us on how to carry your knife for self-defense. They went to a whole lot of legal things. They went into when you should deploy it, if ever. Um, it was a really good class, and I suggest you take it. Um, but again, this is this is what I got from it. Um, I really like the fact that I'm always able to grab it with one or the other hand. It's always in my workspace, and um, you know I'm, I'm always going to be carrying this knife here. Um, and it also acts um, just as a good place to have my tool. The only thing that I miss out on it with this clip is I had some paracord that was wrapped around here with this particular setup. I can't do that, but. No biggie, I've got a uh, paracord lanyard in case I would ever need that. So, um, the knife is an SE Izula 2. Um, it's a really nice bushcraft knife. Um, can be used for skinning, small jobs, things like that. Again, it is full tang. Um, it has a small little guard. Actually, there you go. Small little guard, so it won't slip too much. Again, it'd be nice if the guard was a little bit bigger for self-defense, but still a, a really good knife um, nonetheless. The clip is a 
tech lock large and this thing is bomb proof um, it's got a double latch and so here's the first secure latch if I can get it open here oops wrong way so you can see this part oh, there we go is just a security latch and then this is like some of the alligator clips that you see um, on mole gear so you just squeeze this together and then it pops open um, you also have these two adjustable belt clips here so you can push it in and out to custom fit your belt but um, if you guys can hear this I mean that is a really secure lock and then you have that safety lock this thing is not going anywhere um, the positions you can have it on are just numerous um, so you got what is that nine different slots um, although you know it would be nice to have three different points of contact um, it is secure with just two um, so with mine um, in this in this position here um, I could have it totally horizontal but then it actually bulged out from my shirt so I have it cambered a little bit of a, an angle here and it's also more comfortable for me to grab that way as well um, so I'm, I'm probably gonna buy another one of these um, uh, for one of my larger knives because I'm having some difficulty finding a good position to carry it on my rucksack um, but this will uh, probably remedy that pretty nicely um, so I will post links um, in the YouTube description in case you want to try out the TechLock large clip. They also make a regular clip. Do make sure that it fits the sheath by doing a little bit of research online. Um, I'll post a link to the SE uh, Zola 2. Um, and then there's also another cool knife that they told us about us in the training. It's the K-Bar, uh, I think it's TDI. It uh, was developed by law enforcement. Also another excellent um, self-defense knife that you could carry. Um, you know, cross draw format um, or wherever you feel more comfortable. So I uh, hope this uh, tip helps you and um, I will be coming out with a couple more videos now that i got a little bit more free time. So take care. See you guys later.